the painting day. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a painting day. Willie came too. Are you having fun, Angel? I was excited. I liked painting. We painted lots. That is such a good picture. Do you need to go to the toilet, Tick? No, I said. I wanted to paint. Angel looked funny. She got paint on her nose. Your nose! Let me clean your nose. Let me see. And then I thought, I do want to go to the toilet. Hey, girls, come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. We had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Take, are you OK there? Do you need the toilet? No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. That's Angel. The man was very clever. Come here, come here, see it. Yes, yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. Girls, come with me. Wait, see this. Daddy said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited. I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toilet. No, I said. I wanted to see the funny picture. Funny. A lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Oh! When the machines? I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. I didn't want to go to the new, big, smelly toilets. Hey, Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oh, all the other spiders! I love Willie. We've been scared since we were three. Sandcastle. Right, Tig, where shall we put When I was little, our base camp? I went to the seaside. We had buckets and spades and a picnic. Oh. Willie came too. Okay. There was sand everywhere. Oh. Mummy and me ran down to the sea. Mummy showed me how to draw pictures in the sand. 
Mummy drew a mermaid. We gave the mermaid lots of shells and seaweed hair. Tech! Picnic time! Daddy made a picnic. We had sandwiches. There's not sand in your sandwich, is there? There was sand in my sandwich. Shall we go back down to the beach and see that mermaid? Come on. Come on, Tig. After the picnic, we looked at the mermaid. The mermaid was gone. Just see. She must have swam away, said Mummy. Come on, Tig. Let's go make a sandcastle. OK, it's time to build the sandcastle, said Daddy. We built a real sand castle with our buckets and spades. We made a big hill of sand. We patted the sands and made the hill smooth. We filled our buckets with sand and emptied them all over the hill. Wow! We made windows in the castle with shells and flags with seaweed. Looks just like a mermaid's castle. Looks like a mermaid's castle, said Mummy. I love my mermaid sand castle. Willie loved it too. When it was time to go, I wanted to take my sand castle home. No, Tig. The sand belongs on the beach. No, said Mummy. Tig. Why don't you go and get Willie? I didn't want to leave my sand castle. The sea might wash it away. I want to live with my mermaid castle forever. Hey, Tig! Whee! I know it's sad leaving things behind you like. It's glum leaving things you had so much fun making. But some things belong where they are. Sand castles belong on the sandy beach by the sea. If everyone took their sand castles away, there'd be no sand left to play for another day. A hill, a pool, a starfish, an octopus. Who knows? Swish, what magic shape. Swish, the sand will make tomorrow. Swish. But today we have... Da -da -da -da! We have your mermaid and her castle. So go for it, Tig. Wave bye-bye to your mermaid and her castle and let them go back to the sea where they belong. Yes, I thought. My mermaid and her castle belong to the sea. Bye-bye, mermaid. Bye-bye, castle. On our way back to the car, Willie and me chased Daddy. Daddy thought Willy was an octopus. It's only my toy spider, I said. Come on, Tig, come on. I loved my day at the seaside. I loved my mermaid and her castle. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too, but they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Boggy monsters, hairy monsters, blue monsters. <laughs> And lots of red monsters. We had fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters.
When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared. Ra, ra, ra. All right. The monsters woke me up. Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willy. The next day, I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willy my monsters. I didn't think Willy liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> One daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night monsters. Look. Night, night monsters. There they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> I want my toy spider. Your toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Wooly. The piano. When I was little, I wanted to play the piano. So mummy took me for a piano lesson. The piano lesson was in a big music school where lots of people learned music. My piano teacher was Mr Tonka. When Mr Tonka played his piano, he played all the notes together very fast. Now, do you want to learn to play the piano? Yes, I said. So, so Mr Tonka showed me low. all the notes. The low note. Well done. The middle note. This one? Yeah. And the high note. That one? Yeah, that one. Well done. I played all the notes together, like Mr Tonka. OK, why don't you come back next week and we can learn about the going up notes and the going down notes. We'll look forward to that, Mr Tonka. OK, take... see you next week. Bye-bye. My next piano lesson, Mr. Tonka was in his tiny room playing one of his pianos. How are you doing? I've written some notes on a page. Mr. Tonka had written me some music dots. The music dots went up and down. Let's see if we can play a scale. Now. Want to try that? I play the notes up like the dots. That's great. Okay. I don't want to play the notes one by one anymore. 
I played the notes all together, like Mr. Tonka. Take next to time, next week, to Mr. Tonka, to we'll get the, the notes named. These notes. When I went for my piano lesson again, Mr. Tonka was very excited. Hello, come and sit down. Oh, Look what I've been doing for you. He had pictures for the notes. An apple, a ball, a cat. See if you can play the apple note. Play me the apple notes, said Mr. Tonka. I didn't want to play the apple notes. I played all the notes, like Mr. Tonka. I've just got to go. Mr. Tonkin left. Dick, you have to listen to what Mr. Tonka asks you to do. I know how to do the piano. No, I said. I want to play all the notes together. I played some more, but the notes didn't sound quite right. Hey, Tig. Whee! It might be fun playing all the notes together, but some notes don't sound nice together. Some notes sound better by themselves. If you play each note by itself, you can play a tune. Half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle. When Mr Tonka plays the piano, it might look like he's playing all the notes, but Mr Tonka plays only the notes he needs. Mr Tonka listened to his teacher and learnt what notes to play. Go for it, Tig! Whee! Listen to Mr Tonka and learn how to play the piano. Yes, I thought. I want to learn to play the piano. So I'll listen to Mr Tonka and do what he tells me. When Mr Tonka came back, he told me how to play a tune. We played the tune together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boing! Ah! Hello, your tiny spider. I like Mr. Tonka teaching me. I like going to my piano lessons. I love Willy. Shadows. When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Willy didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. A lamp. A lamp. Ooh. That looks lovely, Ted. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? See what your new lamp is Daddy like. plugged the light in. Then we turn the light on. Turn it off. On, and then off again. Mummy, can I make something with the box? the box? I like the box that the light came in. Mummy said I can make something with the box. I made a puppet show. I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. She had little beaks and feather wings. Tug. The puppet birds could fly. Do you think they're friends? No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Hey, little Jackie buds, sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep. Mummy left my new light on. Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe. But when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. 
the hairy monsters both down there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig, things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look, just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops, big hairy monsters. Round and round they go, just like the sheep. Because that's what the hairy monsters are. Just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig. No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs walking across the ceiling, they went, <gasps> ah! There's a little guy spider on the roof. I like my new light. What's this thing? I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Willy. I love Willy and Willy loves me. We've been together since we were wee.